Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. It's time to get some crates, and it's the first time where we fight the Lost. So, a few words on the Lost, I guess. Advent Intricate camera intro there are a of on the Lost butt. Out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. Yeah, shh. The lost map is that. Is that the... Yeah, that's the anyway. Okay. Um. So... There's no headshot in Long War of the Chosen against the Lost. No insta-kill action refunding mechanic. So, uh, make your shots count. But they have to. I hope you got a plan. This jerk is asking for it. Alright, a drone, and we don't have anything against drones. Well, nothing that helps against drones, I guess. Okay. Get it done. I really don't want to engage on a Zodo drone here. Okay. If possible, fight find a group and give them a good old flamethrower treatment. There now. is the problem, of course, if you have both the Lost and Advent in your vision, then they activate each other. If they take any actions. I'll be right there, but only because it benefits me. I want to move somebody somewhere else, but I don't really see another way that makes sense right now. Roger that. In this case, if the drone moves towards us and captures all of that, all of us. Okay, Mech Sergeant, is that third guy? Well, not necessarily my favorite flamethrower target. Make these guys sorry they showed up. But drone. And I immediately lose sight of it again, okay. By the way, here's a fun little uh, thing to keep in mind. So you see, I, I jumped through here because it's a broken window. If you open the drone, it's in, uh, the door, since it's a sliding door, it will actually block this. So you can no longer jump through here, you have to go through the door. So if I wanna jump through this I'm broken window of someone else, I have to do it now. I don't like to get eyes on that drone. No, it's not a sliding door, but it's still, you know, it blocks this now and apparently it doesn't reveal me. What? Maybe, maybe sliding doors do and those normal doors don't. I've certainly had that reveal me in the past. I'm not just making stuff up here for entertainment value. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, where do we go from here? I don't wanna... I don't want to go too deep, because if I see Lost, then we have the whole activating each other situation happening. Moving don't like that I lost uh, Lana's side on that mech and the sergeant. We do have phosphorus, right? So we can actually damage the mech with the flamethrower. All day long. So 
stay back. Are they running here to the edge of the map? That's kind of super annoying. I think this drone moved exactly far enough to block me in here. Lepschny route. Gotta do what a man's gotta do. Um, where do we see the majority of the crates? I know we have two crates over here. There. Are they more towards the right side or towards the left side? Or just in the middle? I don't even know. Examining that area. No idea where that drone went. Confirmed on the move. Scout, but I don't want to see any lost. Roger that. You back here and you I'm start swinging move. over in this direction. Let's go. I'm gonna have to chill. This guy's. Oh, I hate you even more. Oh, okay. Now that's what we're doing. That was a good overwatch shot, you know? Sometimes I'm happy that I have a, have a stutter mech. Um, okay. There's no place up here where I can grapple to to flank this guy. Uh, in general, is there like a good grapple for me? No. So that first sergeant is going to be my first problem, yeah? Unless I can just insanity him, which doesn't look too promising. We might, we might, no, we might go for a teamwork. So I can move you up close enough to flame for that. You're gonna... Yeah. The drone. It's so wild, it? Just don't sit right with me. Your One of my favorite weapon sounds. Um, Alright, so you're gonna teamwork. Get a 63 on that drone. I don't think we can get line of sight from a high ground tile. We can. It's up a little bit closer, gets us a better shot. I think so. I think I want to keep my grapple. This, then, I. 
guess you have to come in with your sword. So the thing is, I mean, normally I'd say grapple cooldown is worth less than keeping concealment. But... This is, if I grapple here, it's still not guaranteed, right? We get 10 extra, 20 extra from the high ground. Yeah, yeah concealment is worth more. Zip line over there. That kill was satisfying. Which back down here. Okay, Heading we can up. move up a little bit. Prepare yourselves. Spot a purifier. Uh, we still kind of still need to, you know, get damage in on that, on that sergeant. First of his name. You need to stand out in the open. Just panic. I think we just take the kill here. Uh, let's actually go for a little bit extra protection. There's someone standing out in the open. This may be painful. I have it. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. Yes. I understand. Right now, Sergeant. Can I grab this crate without activating it? Apparently I can. Okay, cool. Exactly that. Absolutely. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Uh, talking about Firebrand, Firebrand's pickup. Let's make sure that Firebrand can pick us up. ASAP. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. You know what? I think I actually do some shenanigans with hiding you in here. We got that right. Yes. Okay. Cool. It is you over here. Come get some. Some indeed. Raiders roll. You don't mess with the bourbon cowboy. We did have lost lost about to spawn warning. So is that a, no, that's just a seed. Um, so I guess lost will spawn, which will activate those guys. Now there's an additional complication that I kind of forgot about, that might cost us some damage here. And that's the turn order. If the lost are here and activate those guys, the lost turn happens and then the advent turn happens, giving them a full turn of action. So actually what we're gonna do here to prevent that from screwing us over okay. is pull you back so we don't have line of sight on these guys here. Um, we can, yeah, let's mark this crate. This is fine. Yeah. 
With a brute. Wow, okay. That's how it's done. Not happening. That's kind of rare. And brutes are not something you see all the time. Also, we do have some information in the background. Another shield bearer and some other dude. Yeah, and now happens what I was talking about. They are activating based on the lost. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Explosion. Get a nice flank on that sergeant here. I'm a bad, bad man. How's about no? Hmm. Okay, this is starting to be a little bit more complicated. We should go here. Thirty. What in the world? Make sense already. That's barely worth my shot. So yeah, we have to be concerned about this group, especially the Brood. Um, and we have to be concerned about these two dashes. Efforts over here kind of fizzled a little bit. Dream measure would be this. Um, but that's two more explosions. That's probably the next lost group right away. That measure would be we fall back. That they that advent targets the lost. Get far enough away so that the The two dashers can't reach us. This lost has mobility 14, so 10 tiles, 9 tiles. Let's roll. It can reach the blue move. In the other side of the sergeant, okay. Not a problem. And an eighty six on both of them. We've got who is it? What? I guess we're far enough away that weapon weapon range does not play in at all. Headshot. Next turn, Advent marks crates again, so I don't think I, I mark this crate now. I actually think I give the, this kill to you if I can. We got the whole battlefield awareness thing. So we can, if the, the advent dude goes for me, then we have one target he can go for. I am moving. Oh, there. And with that, 
out of the way, I think you're gonna actually move here. I know there's still one drone to my left. Get a sense of where more crates are. You see those two? Okay, one up here. Uh, any on the high ground on my end? I don't think so. One more up there. All right, we can grapple again next turn. Enter. Well, the regular lost is going for the sergeant. And this gamble played out. That's interesting move from that sergeant. Like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark these supplies here. Yeah. Right there. These supplies, and then give you two shots. Can I move anyone away so that you get less tactical sense? See for the first sergeant here. Yeah. You need to be careful. We have a grappler here. Grapplers do um, have basically lost blade storm. All right, sell me. I think I'm gonna use my flamethrower here against the lost. Rain down hell on my target. That gave me at least 3% more to hit by reducing tactical sense. Yeah, that should now be just minus 6. Yeah, okay. You know, every little bit counts. I must confess, your skills were inadequate. Um, purifier. Is sitting there. It's itself. So we could, in theory, get him. Still fire if we roll, roll the numbers well. We actually had land aside, what? No. Do you not see the purifier there? Oh. Yeah, well, because he's not on that tile. You see, I can attack him from here, so he's on that tile. Friend, these center tiles, aren't they fake cover usually? Okay, so we got 78 aim, plus 10 from gaze, that's 88. Plus 7, it's 95, high cover, 45, 50. No, that's all correct. Damn. Uh, but that means you actually need to kill the brute. To do that with soul fire. I think I'll just skedaddle you back here, though. Mm -hmm. 
Position confirmed. Sneak in here. Sneaky deaky. Grab a basic scope. Fantastic. Wonderful. The pain is basically won. Sentry shield barrel. Somewhere here behind us is still a drone. Uh, okay, what else do I have to worry about? Yeah, so the crate situation look good so far. We've got five crates. There are only ten crates on the map anyway, so it didn't spawn with the usual twelve. Um, and there is a chance on this map type that there are unreachable crates on top of this building, um, which, you know, sucks, but what can you do? So I see three more. Two up here, one down here in the side alley. This one is going to be hard to get, no matter what. And then there's one back here. Well, first, first things first, we need to get rid of this guy there. Might just be reload and short. Him for another turn here with insanity. So panic. That's good. All right, so mark you in here, in range to grab that crate next turn. Enemies on the map that that has me very worried. Heading to that location. The, oh, that's another mech. Also, that has me worried we even more. Company. Least max sentry, and there was a shield bearer. Okay. Examining here. You're up there and reloaded. I'm a little bit concerned again about cross activation with Lost. So I think we're gonna break line aside as soon as I have figured out what I wanna do with you. Okay, we've got five regular active, so four kills, one active is five. We know the drone here, that's six. Four more here, that's nine. Eh, uh, what? Ten. Math. Never do math, life, life on air. Um, If they activate and go into this area, blowing up this car with our rocket might still be an option. So I think we're actually just gonna reload okay. and shoot here. Sitting comfortably in our smoke cover. Well, this ain't good. New scooch. Okay. Down here, break line of sight with those guys.
Well, well, well. Now what? The trade run out again. Gonna get hit once by the Dasha and it does one to two damage. It just goes into the shields. Um, same thing here, except the Brood is too slow to reach me. Quality to win with seven crates. I will survey that area. What? No. Use the heck out of me that we have never found that drone. Um, I just need to, you know, take care of that purifier somehow. Which might just be a rocket. Or we just, you know, flashbang him. I hope that regular loss that was here is not able to reach you, but I can't be certain about that. I mean, eventually you're gonna hit that 65, 50, but today is not that day. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave next turn. Moving to position. Yeah, I never spotted that drone again. So the second separate group just to make an a priest. Still kinda scary. Oh, talking about the drone. Hello. Get me out of this position. Time to go. We've got one tile which is blocked by the traffic light, which you can't use. Okay. So you have to just dash to the evac. That's a dasher and a regular lost, no grappler. Copy that. You also no options, dash. Yeah, let me get my groove off. And then you're gonna Oh, here, grapple up there. Shut up, just get out. I guess you're the only one that can actually make it with a blue move into the zone and still shoot somebody. Concerned. 
some people were very late with putting their hand up to, to request an evac rope. You see, there was a lost here and then just rumbled because we were taking a photo here. I'm always pleased when the troops return without any reported casualties. I can't hope for a better outcome. That's great. Uh, got the promotion here for our Sai, so that's always good. Got the promotion here. Now, I'm not sure if I talked about this rank already, so this is crap. I hate interrupts with passion. Um, so that leaves us with manual overrides versus the option of just not taking anything and banking AP to take useful skills down here. No, it's not a lot, it's 14 AP. So the thing is, manual override seems very tempting since we're going into we have a psionic heavy campaign, right? It reduces cooldowns by three turns. So if we group him up then with our up and coming void rifty, we can be void rifting like fairly often. I have no idea what the cooldown on void drift is. Use it on an assault, and you have got got run and gun, and then next turn run and gun again. I think we're going for that. Um, okay, cool. what do we get? Oof, that looks, you know, that looks a little bit not, like not worth the effort. But okay, I guess Vegas can't be choosers and all that. Wasted a full hour. Disgusting. Okay, I think we can barely fit in six people here. So I want a shinobi, probably the higher ranking one. I want my grenades, I want my skirmisher, I want my technical. Uh, I want my... Uh, I probably want my overwatch. That's longer than the timer allows. I would not be bringing any psionics. The spicy UFO, 19 to 21. When I justify boosting it. And yeah, on that note, just take in another. Person. Stasis, fuels, yep, yes please. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that's 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 the squad. I didn't even check how much intel I have. I guess we got ten extra from the flight paths mission quick reward. It's, there's nobody in the squad where I say, yeah, you know what, let's just leave the grenadier at home. It's like, no, this is, everybody's doing too much that I don't want to give them up for that mission. So, yeah, it's worth a boost. Hopefully. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace, ready to deploy. It's, you know, one thing where I, I would criticize myself is my intel management is always very boost. Um, you know, I'm... I'm very generous with the boosts. You get a boost, and you get a boost. Everybody gets a boost. Um, which, you know, can get me into a little bit of trouble. But worst case, we run some, some data pads that we get from the HQ Assault, which is actually gonna be the next mission coming up. It's 91%. Right. The proving grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skull Jack. Skull Jack, sure. Uh, what we're doing first here is um, alloy plating. I'll have the team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. And I'm even thinking we're putting Codex here in the second slot. Like, this ex excava uh, excavation is not that urgent, and this is done in seven days, and then soon we run out of stuff to do. Um, I think I should actually stop scanning here for, for construction and stuff. Which means the debris is gonna come a little bit later. But yeah, let's find some more missions over here. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. Enemies do plus one damage with their primal weapon, well some of them do. Make sure they never get to fire them. Alright. Strength seven. Forty to forty-two enemies. Um, again, like the strength for an HQ assault, up to a certain level doesn't matter, right? Like if it's thirty-nine or forty-two enemies, three enemies won't make or break it. If it gets really high, I think the highest I've ever done was sixty-nine enemies. Um, you notice a difference at that point, certainly. It's not your average HQ assault that you've done a thousand times, but it's a different kind of mission. But still, like, on that, in that regard, if you do it at strength 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's always going to be between 30 and 40, and that's not going to make a huge difference. Anyway, 8-man um, HQ assault. Let's make sure we get good... Good shots with our sharpshooters. We get a hope. Maybe we get a good trench gun opener. A man can dream, right? Otherwise, um, what's our opener? A good grenade? Possibly. But we'll see how that shakes out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.